Hey everyone, this is ACJ and welcome back to a special Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this is special because we're actually recovering and uh, recapping an old tutorial that I've done before. The old tutorial, or tutorials should I say, is actually um, on abstract desktop wallpaper designs. Um, it's actually quite popular, it's actually one of the most popular tutorials that I've ever done actually. And I thought I would actually um, recap and actually improve it a fair bit in my opinion. So. As we are here, um, as you can see, sorry, um, we have a document of Photoshop that I've actually created, and within it is an abstract design. Of, obviously, it's using the same principles as we did in the last tutorial, where we overlay brushes and colors. But this is taking a step further, adding some text, proper, proper textiles, um, and also adding some different color highlights and flares to it. As well as that, we are actually using brand new brush sets. Um, we'll move in here. These brush sets are made by 40 Winks. Uh, and these are fantastic, really. He makes some great um, brushes. So we should be using Volume 7, Volume 8, and Volume 10 of his abstract volumes. Um, and, of course, I'll chuck this in the description for you to download. Um, so check that out as well. Download them um, and install them. So we'll go back to Photoshop, whip it open, and quickly, just before we go and make a break and new document, we can observe the layer style structure over here. It's pretty easy. Um, to follow. So you've got some simple layers. You have five main um, layers and then you have one text and a background layer. Um, so we're going to get started pretty much straight away now. Making a brand new document. Um, whatever size you want. I'm using my screen size 1920 by 1080. Resolution 72 because we're working in digital format. And OK. So first up we want to actually, first of all, put the background to black. Um, so on that background layer, black straight away, and that's what we want to do. Now we want to start painting the actual abstract brushes. So we want to break a brand new layer going down to the bottom over here. Hopefully I'm not rushing too much for you guys, and you can uh, follow. Uh, we want to now change our color, and we want to change this because we need our brushes to be painted in a color that will accept a color overlay. Now black actually rejects it completely. Um, white um, takes it in, and then all the grey in between will obviously have varying rejection and accepting, um, as you as you would see in masking. Um, anyway, so changing it to white, making sure it's on white. Um, and now we want to go to our brush tool. Um, this shortcut is B for this on your keyboard. And what we want to do is actually go click on this arrow or the actual icon over here, and extend it open by clicking on this little arrow as well over here, and this will actually open up all our brush sets that we have currently installed. And as you can see here, we have our brush sets 7, 8, and 10, which we'll be using. Now, I'm going to demonstrate what my setup actually was with my previous tutorial, my previous um, design that you saw before. Um, so this is purely um, a mock design that you can follow if you want. I'm actually um, looking for you guys that are watching to kind of go on your own stem and actually create, create your own... Uh, styles, what have you, and I'm actually wondering if you could send, send them in, please do, send them a video response or um, PM me, um, I actually quite enjoy uh, getting some feedback from you guys in the actual tutorial itself, so if you want to follow this completely, it's fine by me, um, go ahead, so we're going to actually open up our 7 pack, now that we've done some rambling, and we're going to click K now, so we have our uh, 4 brushes within the, the first pack, or the 7th pack, sorry, um, and we're going to actually use the 4th one you can use the other ones. Um, I'm going to actually go through and use the ones that I used before, like I said. What I want to do is place this in a document, wherever you want, um, kind of making a collage and also a layered effect that you'll surely not have one massive white mess or you won't have too much black space either. So, putting it where you want, I'm going to place one down, I'm off to the right, off-centered a bit. Now, we want to make a brand new layer, so layer 2, um, and we're going to keep on repeating this in uh, until we get our desired effect. So we're going to go to um, set 8. OK. And we're going to use a fifth brush. This is a massive brush. So we're going to chuck it in the top right corner, fill this kind of void over here. Uh, as such. Layer 3. We're going to go to volume 10. Just going to sample all volumes. Uh, we're going to use brush 2. And we're going to place it. Yeah, here, yeah, it looks very good. To kind of fill in this area over here. As we'll go back to our original document. And it looks, looks actually looks pretty in the same space, actually. Anyway, that's pretty good. 
Um, and now we want to use our last brush to kind of fill in this massive void in the middle. We'll go back to volume 7, that's right. And we're going to use the third brush along, making a brand new layer, don't forget. And kind of just dumping in and filling this void over here. So now we have our black and white brush set all complete. So it's all white there, and it's all fine and dandy so far. Now we want to add some color to it. So we're going to create a brand new layer, uh, this layer 5 over here. We're actually going to rename just so it's easy to see, sorry. Double click on the actual text. We're going to call it overlay. This is just so we can actually understand what it's actually doing. And this is overlaying the color. So we want to go back to our brush tool. Um, make it, we already have it selected. So going back to our brushes, we're going to write, uh, open it, expand it again, sorry. And what we're going to do is actually reset the brushes. And this will actually... Um, default our uh, stock standard brushes back to the uh, factory standards of what's actually installed. It doesn't delete any brushes, it doesn't move, remove them at all, it's just resetting it back to the uh, default ones. Clicking OK. We want to select the third soft brush over here. And we also want to bump up the size quite significantly. We want to put it down to about 1200. Around there. Well, uh, that's for my screen size at least. It could vary for you quite well. So now you have a massive brush that suits our canvas quite well. We want to zoom out a bit, so control minus, control plus is the actual um, keyboard shortcut for Windows, so zooming in and out. And so now on our overlay layer we want to paint some colour. Um, some vibrant, rich colours would actually do us good, so we don't want too dull colours, it's up to you. I have my colours already selected, I'll put these in the description for you of course. So the first one's actually a purple. Um, and this is our middle band color, the phase between the red and the blue. So it's actually, the code for it is 8C1482. And now, to make it easy, we'll fill the whole document in as such. On the same layer, uh, change the color again. We'll change it to a red, a dark red. So 96091D is our red that we'll use. And we want to fill the bottom proportion of this in, kind of fading it in as such. Now to do our blue. Blue simple, we're going to use another code, 138BCC. And again, we'll fill the top part in so we kind of get the nice gradient effect going. Now as the layer name states, we want to overlay the actual layer itself. And by going to the blending mode options here, we simply want to actually overlay it as such. We'll zoom back in now just so we can see it easier. And already that's looking quite decent. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying this quite look already. This is similar to what we had in our previous tutorial. We had this very basic effect. Now here's where the video might drag on a bit and we're actually going to layer that up. So clicking on layer 1 with it selected, we want to drop down to this menu over here which is the FX menu. This allows us to apply some uh, layer styles to the actual um, layer itself. So clicking on this, we want to click onto the uh, gradient overlay. And this will actually alter the colors that it's actually blended with within the actual top overlay layer that we made before. So what we're going to do, we can scroll through these colors and we actually can find some nice colors that affect it. I've got some preset colors that are web... This set is actually um, from the web, web 2.0 um, set. But really it's up to you, whatever colors you want. Um, I'm going to use this yellow over here. It's kind of a soft gradient between a light yellow and kind of a darkish yellow. It's kind of a really kind of pale yellow as well that doesn't make it, doesn't affect it too much in the sense that it's too heavy for the actual um, canvas and the abstract. But it affects it enough so it actually adds some value to it. So the colors that I will be actually using for it, I'll have to alter this one. Uh, it would be E1... So three e, e one e nine a zero is our first one. Our second one e five e six nine six. We'll click OK. And as you notice already, that it actually adds it adds this kind of uh, yellow highlight. We'll turn it off and on as you can see that it's changing it white to yellow. It's very subtle but also very adds it adds kind of color depth to the actual um, file itself. So moving on to layer 2. Same thing we're going to add to the FX. This time we're going to go down to uh, add it glow 
and we're going to drop the opacity down, put it down to about 50%. We're going to drop the size to 50 as well. So opacity 50, size 50, and it kind of gives a nice smooth, vibrant effect as well. Before we click OK, we're also going to go down to gradient overlay and apply another gradient. This time we're going to apply a soft green. Now, yeah, what green we can use is up to you. <coughs> this one over here looks quite good. As you can see, it actually changes the actual colour itself, the blue, being from being so dark to kind of just being this kind of aqua or sea colour blue. So the colours that we'll actually be selecting for this are A4C855 and CC. E889. And again, like I said, I'll chuck those in the description for you as well. So clicking OK this time and clicking OK again. We've now styled layer 1 and layer 2. OK, layer 3. This one is actually a fairly simple one. All it is is an outer glow as we did before. So again, opacity 50 and the size to 50. Simple as that. Um, and what we're going to do now is actually copy this one we're going to place it to our fourth layer as well so right clicking on the actual layer itself copy layer styles right click on layer 4 paste layer styles and pretty much as you can see it's actually forming quite well um, it's got that nice effect coming up slightly different colors obviously we can't replicate it 100 percent so now we want to do our text. Our text is quite simple as well. We're going to go over the text tool. Um, start typing roughly in the center, whatever you want. We'll change the color to white. We'll call this abstract, all capitals. Uh, we're using a walkway, the font in 100 pixels. You know, place it roughly here. It actually looks quite good there. Yeah, to kind of get this desired effect that we have is kind of blurring out. Um, what we want to do is go back into our document and double click on our layer itself. This will bring up our blending menus. Um, what we want to do is actually drop our fill opacity down to 50%. This will make it so it's the actual fill, the, ri the original fill, so the 50%, so the white was at 50%. But any um, blending mode options will stay at 100%. So our first option that we want to do um, is just going to be the outer glow. And what we want to do again is we want to put this all the way up to 100. We're going to put this onto overlay this time. And we're going to make the size on 8. And that's pretty good. We can now maneuver this around wherever we want in the layer. As such, we can muck around with it, maybe drop the opacity of this down a bit further. Drop it down to about 20, 26 around there. And as you can see, it takes on the uh, actual colors within the layer itself and kind of adds to it. I might again muck around with the uh, these values over here. But anyway, that's pretty that's pretty good as it is. So that's pretty much it. That's the entire tutorial in itself. Sorry if you did take a while to actually do. It kind of has little um, finicky layer styles that you have to kind of get through to make it. But anyway, that's that's the entirety of the extra tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I would love if you could um, submit some of your own designs or some of these um, alternate uh, abstract designs with it that you've made with this tutorial. Um, it's good to kind of get the community going with this and actually see what other people are doing with the tutorial. I quite enjoy seeing what people have done with my previous tutorials and yeah, it just helps out. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, subscribe for more. I do a fair bit of tutorials, whether that be uh, gaming, or it could be even Photoshop or what have you. Um, so yeah, subscribe, favorite and comment if you would like. And like I said, everything will be in the description if you need, so check that out, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for that.